Hi, Roberto with Source One Environmental. Today we are going to go over an elbow patch. Um, it's going to be very similar to a standard pipe patch um, with just a couple differences. Um, first, when you're doing your um, test inflate, you're going to make sure that it's packed out on each end of your packer. Um, these packers are made to open from the center out. So if you just did a center hole, it would open in there first. Um, so you want to make sure that each end is fully packed out to get your pressure. Um, and then your normal equipment that you'd get in a kit, tape, resin, wire ties, spatula, um, gloves, fiberglass mat, which is going to look a little different, so don't let that throw you off. And then you're going to get a protective sleeve and also cellophane wrap. Um, and the reason for that is your sleeve is going to be for your dry run and your cellophane is going to be for the actual install. Um, and I've already tested my equipment. I always do two inflates and I also always test with all my equipment attached. So the regulator that I'm going to use, the flex adapter that I'm going to use is always attached when I do my test inflate. That would be for your dry run. Cellophane. It's really easy to put on. Just start at one end. get this as tight as you possibly can. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want any voids in it or you'll get resin on your back. That's it. All wrapped up, ready to go. And then another little difference is that we spray with silicone. And the reason for that is so that when the patch is done, this has a nice coat on it so that there's no resin that gets in between any of the creases in the cellophane so that it'll break away easy. you cover it all and your packer is ready to go. So now make sure that our resin is good, bread ties are doubled up and ready to go. And then so this is a little bit different than our normal our normal uh, fiberglass it's actually identical on either side. So there's no shiny side and there's no chop side. It's all shiny. It's all uniform. It's all the same. So this point, ready to wet out. Installer patch. 
this is going to be exactly the same as any other pipe patch. Same two part silicate resin. And as soon as you pull this pin, pull this bag, your time is going to start. So, we're going to mix it the same exact way. This one, pour almost two thirds of the bag on one side and then just set it off. And then long strokes, pull the resin from one end to the other. And when you're doing this, you're actually pushing into the mat. Um, this isn't like the normal chop that kind of just grabs it and soaks it in. This you have to push it in. Edges. You don't want to see any white once you've wet out a side. And as always, flip. Make sure you always use all the resin that you get in the kit. It's all pre measured ready to go when you get your kit. inch overlap. Always want to make sure to keep your work surface as clean as possible. So always want to fold up the ends so that when you throw your packer down don't get a bunch of resin in areas you don't need resin. And then line to line. Start on one end. And then when you fold this and you roll it, you want to get it as tight as you can. Smaller profile when you go to put it in the pipe the better outcome you're going to have from getting it into place. Brett, wire tie. Front you'll probably want to do two so that when your leading edge bumps around that bend, it doesn't come off your packer. One in the middle and one on the back end. When you're doing these, cinch down tight one, once, twice, and then pull up. One, two, pull up. One, two. And you always
always want to make sure to cut, cut these. If you don't cut them, the likelihood of them not breaking as they're supposed to when you go to do your inflate. in the pipe and make sure you have everything hooked up. mark that we made and then we fill our regulated pressure that we got before we started and that's it thank you for watching